Hello, hello. Thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here to give you a reading, my love. A nice super moon reading. Absolutely. This reading is for the collective, okay? Super moon energy. The message that I was receiving was the purge. The purge. Sounds good to me. Let's clear out the clutter. Make some room for the blessings, right? All right, collective. This is for everybody, but I'm still a snitch. So cross watchers, if you're listening to somebody else's information and I call a sign, yes, I'm gonna tell it all. Please don't curse me. <laughs> There's no gender or age here, guys, only energy. You're gonna hear me use terms, he, she, her, him, they, them, it, heifer, pay it, no mind. Feel the energy, okay? Always remember that roles can be reversed. Guys, I truly thank you for your love and support. Your likes, share, subscribes, emails, comments, love tokens, and donations. Thank you so, so very much. Collective, this is a judgment-free zone, my loves. But you will hear the truth, okay? A purge. All right, let's see what the message is. I'm pulling from the Angels and Ancestors Oracle. What is the message for the collective? What is the message for the collective? Thank you. Water Guardian, connect with your emotions. And I have a Peacekeeper at the bottom of the deck. Of course, water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Um, spiritual waters wash, replenish, restore, rejuvenate. Um, yeah. Uh, again, when we started, I told you that I was seeing the purge, you know, the purge, the purge. Um, so it looks like the water is coming in to wash away. Um, right now, you really want to focus on your emotion. So it looks like an emotional purge here, okay? Um, old feelings, old habits, old whatever, you know, connections, ties. You know, these are the things that you want to call out to your maker to wash away, you know, to wash away simply. Um, there's something here. I don't know. There's something. I know this is water energy, but uh, there's fire in the sky. Um, okay. Um, peacekeeper at the bottom of the deck. Let go of the need to be right. Let ego make sure you put that on your list as well, you know, uh, with the peacekeeper here. You know, it, it's n know that you're right. If you need to be, if you feel it in your heart, you know you're right, blah, 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 blah. Fine, know it. Know that that the fact that you know it is good enough, you know? Um, it doesn't have to be proven. You don't have to fight for somebody to acknowledge. You know, you don't need that, all right? Be a lady, be a lady. Handle it with dignity, integrity, keep your, um, you're behind on the throne, you know? Uh, again, fellas too, you know what I mean? When I say lady, I don't mean feminine, but like ladylike. You understand what I mean? Um, you know, handle it, the situation with integrity, bottom line. Uh, this energy enjoys growth and reaping rewards. Uh, Pre-empress energy, okay? Abundant energy. So it looks like this purge and this washing of the spirit... Um, yeah, it's going to cleanse you in a personal way, all right? You don't need to prove it, okay? Just enjoy the benefits from it. You with me? All right, let's do a spread for the mother-loving collective. I like the purge. Purge feels good. It's freeing, you know? And it's so personal, guys. You don't have to prove, you know, that you've changed. That's for somebody else to see. You know what I mean? When you know it, 
and you're different and you grown, you don't have to prove it. Don't set out to prove it. You know, just live your life and it will reflect on its own, on its own. Center energy, please, for the collective. Center energy, please, for the collective. Hello. Emperor energy, nice. Aries, Taurian energy here. Queen of Pentacles, uh, Earth energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So, you uh, taking control, you know, being in control, delegating from the mother loving throne. Okay. That's what I was just talking about. Handle your situation, nurture your life, secure your life, take care of your abundance, uh, planning for your future, knowing that you're the boss. This is the CEO or the CFO or the COO and the OOO and the OOO. Okay. Top dog right here. <laughs> Lovely energy, due diligent, you know, obedient energy, okay? Obedient energy, obedient to home, obedient to the security of home, you know? Uh, and this Queen of Pentacles, you know, she doesn't just worry about uh, the abundance and security of the day. She's also a wonderful investor because she's thinking about tomorrow and five years from now and 10 years from now, okay? You have a lot going on. So this is a, also taking control of where you stand, planning for your future with a renewed life, with renewed rejuvenation, you know, re renewing of the spirit, okay? And you don't owe nobody an explanation when you're the boss, if you know you're the boss. My boss don't, you know, at, 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 if I worked at a company when, well, when I did, uh, you know, my boss didn't come out of his office to explain to me, you know, who, what, where, why, and how. It, it just didn't happen. I'm not going to lie. What he did was give me, assign me my work that I was supposed to do. And that's what I did. Whether I agreed about it or not, you know, I'm just saying. Crown the energy. Crown the energy, please, for the collective. energy please hello <laughs> Hierophant energy Taurian energy lovely edification here so uh the Hierophant is like structural it's uh in uh, institutions church school you know learning uh respect things like that uh it's also edification energy leveling up okay leveling up and I love it because this is what crowns you Okay, pull down from this and accept it and rise above. You know what I'm saying? Take this washing of the spirit. Uh, know that you're in control. Know that you're focusing on your abundance and level up. Level up. Absolutely. And that what Sierra said? <laughs> What's undermining? Hello. The four of wands. See, balance people being on the same page, you know, 1111 energy. And this is exactly what this is talking about. Let go of the need to be right. You know who you are, know where you stand, know where you're going, know what you're doing is for your best interest or the interests of your family, things like that. And know that you don't have to prove it. And everybody is not going to agree. And it's okay. It's you don't have to just because they don't agree. It's not a uh, invitation for a challenge. Like they're not calling you to the ring. Let's fight about it. It's, you know, I, I don't agree with this. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know why you're doing it. I don't know where you're going. I don't know why you're going. You know what I mean? Things like that. And you know what? And you say, you know, I, I, you know, I, sometimes I don't either. But hey, this feels right to me. I'm going with it. That's it. That's it. You know, if they said, you know, uh, blah, 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 you know, uh, I don't think this is going to work, blah, 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 blah. Okay. You know what? I'm going to try it anyway. That's it. Let it go. All right. Don't let somebody shake your foundation, take you off your square. 
um, where you second guessing and third guessing and fourth guessing yourself, your downloads, your personal relationship, your channeling, you know, you're divinely guided. You know, God is working with you and you know that you, there is a plan and purpose behind this. There's elevation and edification coming in, in your life. And you know this, all right. But every step you take, you're going to stop to explain. I took a step. This is where I was. This is where I'm now. This is where I'm, you know, I want to go. I'm going to do this here because da, 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 no, we're not doing that because it wasn't done for you. You know what I'm saying? See, nothing but the devil. Capricorn energy here. Um, if you are uh, a Capricorn, this is your um, ego, period. It, it, it doesn't change. You know, I just wouldn't call it like toxic. If you have Capricorn in your chart or you're Capricorn, you know what I'm saying? Because this is significant of your sun sign. I know it's horrible. I'm sorry, but um, it is what it is. I, I didn't make the tarot cards. Okay. But um, it would still speak to ego, bad habits, you know, old ways, um, uh, strife, things like that. Things that just hold you back. Toxic behavior that holds you back. Okay. Let's see what this is. Where is it coming from? What brought this on for the collective? Where is this coming from, this energy? Where is this coming from? Probably that fire that I saw earlier. The full Aries, Aquarian energy. And the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So it looks like the opposition is coming from um, the counter, uh, your, um, hmm. no, it's not for everybody. So just give me a second for some of you, it's your companion, your mate. I have to say that with the King and Queen of Pentacles here, others of you, this is your boss. It's kind of like the same scenario th that I was given, you know? Um, so you might have said, you know, I want to venture out on my own, start my own company, do my own thing. You know, um, or you said, took a leap of faith and I'm leaving my job or I'm moving or whatever the case was. But this person said, that's not the way to go. That's not the way to do it. There's ways to do it and you're not doing it the right way, but you're being divinely led. That's something that cannot be explained. It's kind of like having, the, the when the word teaches us about peace, with the peace beyond all understanding, all understanding, because it's between you and God, you know? And it's not something that you should have to feel the need to have to fight to prove, you know? Where's this going? Future energy, please, for the collective. The Knight of Cups in reverse, yeah. This, you know, it's this is love. Don't have nothing to do with this, but yeah, it's not a love thing. Three of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. It's not a love thing. It, it, it's not like for those of you that are struggling with your partner and one wants to do something and the other one opposes it um, because uh, they don't feel that they're right. Um. It love it does don't say well if you would do it if you love me, you know because that's that might be what they're saying, but love this doesn't have nothing to do with love. This is strictly regarding edification in life, uh, stability, abundance, uh, peace, things like that, purging. Okay, I am not the old me. Somebody is truly taking control of their life here. I am not my old self. I am in control. You know, I am the boss now. I'm no longer the employee. That one time you may have been the employee, but not no more, you know? So how you do things with your business and how you foresee your company's growth uh, or your personal growth and abundance and independence and things like that is, you know, your way of right now leveling up in your life. And that's good enough for me personally. I ain't gonna lie, but everybody's not gonna agree. And it's no, it's not, it's not, there's no emotions tied to this. You know where this is going. This is, this is strictly business, nothing personal, strictly business. Okay. But somebody is not gonna get it. 
but you about to, you, you're getting divinely gifted for your obedience. I tell you that because you listened, but somebody is not going to get it. Your, your friends, your family, your coworkers, they're going to be like, feel betrayed or left or hurt, you know, um, because you kind of went out on your own and did your own thing, you know, and again, I, I, you are divinely guided to do this. This was, you didn't just wake up and say, I'm going to betray my family and my coworkers and whatever. It, it didn't happen like that. This was, you know, this is something that's been going on for a while, like through whispers, whispers. It took a while to get through that thick skull, what you're supposed to be doing. And then once you, once the message got through and you heard it, you still didn't do what you were supposed to do. But fast forward till today, because that was yesterday. Fast forward to today. I'm not saying yesterday per se, but y'all know what I'm saying. Okay. Um, yesteryear, if you want to say it like that. Fast forward to today, it's, uh, you know, it's a new day, you know, it's a new day and you're in understanding now and in sync now, you know, uh, with the message you receive with what you're supposed to be doing with where you're going. And again, here's your, oh my Lord, do you see this? Do you see this? Divine blessing, divine, it, there's the restoration because it's going to feel like a, a loss here, especially with this Knight of Cups in reverse. Um, it's going to feel like an emotional loss, but here's the replenishment pouring right back into that cup that is poured out, you know, from the most high. Because somebody, like I said, is going to feel like you're betraying them. And they're a little bit immature with how they handled things. I ain't going to lie. But they, at the same time, was, you know, wanted to challenge your every move question your every move, you know, and after how many times you're supposed to say it's nothing but God, period. And whether you said it or not, you know, this is what you know you were doing. You didn't owe them no explanation, but they wanted one. I ain't gonna lie, especially with that page of cups. They wanted something. Okay. They wanted something because they didn't understand it. They were trying to figure you out and they didn't understand it, but you were moving in divine guidance, which is why every step you took has been blessed. You know, fortune was favoring you for forward movement. All right. We have divine motion here leading you into healthier connections, you know, uh, connecting, you were connecting with people that did get you. If, even if your loved one didn't, you know, even if your partner didn't, uh, even if your, your coworkers didn't, you know, somebody did. Somebody, some earth angel, uh, was blessed, um, uh, was a blessing to you that you at least had one safe place to just vent, you know, even though there was a separation from the, the, the ones you love or the ones you were connected to. Okay. But they were upright in the first place and what they hid from you your angels saw and led you in another direction. All you had to do was kind of tap into this strength, will, drive, determination, ambition to push forward because you were getting what you need when you needed it to make it through. It just wasn't what you wanted. You understand what I'm saying? It wasn't what you wanted but it was exactly what you needed. You were in favor, you were in balance, you were in a place of healing, and you were in a place to show that you were capable for to handle what was to come next. Because it was almost like you had to perform or show and prove, like, look, I'm ready. I'm, I know I did this and I did that and I did this, but I know I'm ready, okay? And you held on to that and fought for that. You might have took some scars and had some losses, but you held on to it. And because of that strength and that faith that you guarded, your peace, your understanding, the lessons you had in life, you held on to those things and protected them. Then you got that download. That download came and said, look, um, this is, it's time. 
It's time. It's time for you to do this, do that, go here, go there. You know, talk to this one. Don't talk to that one. Whatever the changes you've been making in your life to get control of your life, you started doing it. You listened to the message and you stood 10 toes down because you knew it was directly for you and it's bringing you nothing but happiness. You understand what I'm saying? It's bringing you nothing but, oh my Lord, do you see this? Oh, Oh my Lord, I cannot, I cannot. Leo energy, Pisces energy, fire, uh, Aries, Leo, Sag, clarity coming in. You know, uh, uh, nothing but happiness. Also, the sun is the brightest card of the deck. This is illumination, understanding coming in, okay? Enlightenment, leveling up, heightened intuitive abilities also with the high priestess. And she's not a talker, you understand? She's not, she knows, but she's not a talker. All right. She's a doer. Oh, mm, 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 mm. with the full understanding and uh, information or research, whatever, whatever that needs to be done in mastering the, your craft uh, on this earth, you got it. All right. And if it's to cut away people, places, and things that are toxic, even if it's their energy, because you can't pick your fam uh, your family, you can only pick your friends. So yeah, you probably still see them Christmas and Thanksgiving and blah, 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 but that don't mean you have to take their energy home with you. You know what I'm saying? You do have control of that. So see, this divine sword is given and gifted to you to get away from people that are just chatterboxes. You know what I mean? People that just want to talk and, and and with no substance, you know, uh, they just want to hear themselves talk. And this is somebody that always wants and needs to be right. But that's what five of swords energy is. Exactly what this peacekeeper is saying for you to let go of. You're getting a divine sword to cut yourself free from it. Because this is that na 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 and and I got it, you don't, nah ha, you know, that, that kind of energy. That's what five of swords is, okay? But this divine sword is gifted to you to be free from that so that you can have self-fulfillment, self, you know, emotional fulfillment. Nine cups is darn close to 10. Now, it is sad that they didn't get it because it would be cool if they can come for the ride. But you're working on something new, creative, uh, passionate, and it's going to build and grow faster than you think. Page to the king. Okay? It's up to you to see it, my love. It's up to you, you know. Um, it's easier to see things when you know, the blindfold is off and you're looking at the full picture. Even if you have to hang upside down from a damn pole with this Pisces energy here with this hangman. You know what I'm saying? That's what the enlightenment comes from the different perspective. The light around his head uh, is because he's upside down because when he was right side up, he couldn't see. You understand what I'm saying? That's That enlightenment calls in understanding, wisdom, knowledge, you know, oh, that's why I had that happen. Oh, yep. I remember when I went through that. Oh yeah. That cycle. Yeah. I learned a lot from that too. I, I make sure I, this is why you're taking your steps more carefully now, you know, because you're wiser now you've grown now. Okay. And from that obedience, again, divine motion. You stay on the path, I'm telling you, it'll be like it, it, every now and then you're going to get that thing. What is that thing? Oh, sugar. In the uh, airport, you know, when the floor moves, you know what I'm saying? You got Every now and then you're walking down that long hall, you can go through that thing and you can just stand and enjoy that divine motion. You know, you're, you're moving forward, but you don't have to do no work. That's chariot energy. You just have to choose the path, you know, choose the right, the, the, pick the one that's going forward. Don't go back. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and they're going to be watching you like, dang, what just happened here? That's not how this was supposed to go. And you manifest in bigger, better, brighter. You're calling in love now because uh, foundation starts to uh, feel a little firm and uh, or even self-love with the Queen of Cups because the love is, oh man, I love the Queen of Cups love. You know, this is like grandmom's breasts. It, you know, it's like that hug 
that you get and, and it's just so safe and, and, and comfortable and you have no problems in the world. You know, you fall, scrape your knee, that hug takes that pain right away. That's that Queen of Cups love, that unconditional love. You know what I mean? Yes, what you're manifesting or calling in, you know, and, or working on. And somebody else is like stressed and a hot mess. Look at you made it from that nine, now that's your 10, because you called in love, emotional bliss, fulfillment, you know? But somebody is completely emotionally overwhelmed, okay? Overwhelmed. They're all in their feelings. And you're just elevated. There's your counter, Empress Energy, all right? And the past is stuck. But you working on new beginnings, changing your life, creative, passionate, forward moving. You know the power of the poom poom, the power of that boom stick. You know it. Bringing in all this uh, security and abundance. You know it. Again, the counter, king and queen. You understand? Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, guys, I'm going to leave this here. This purge. For those that are resonating with this energy, uh, with this water guardian in your personal prayers and meditation, throw up, you know, uh, whatever it is that you want to be addressed. As for that washing, you know, the washing of the spirit um, and uh, get that, uh, get your what do you call it? Slate cleaned or whatever it is. Toxic bad habits. Also old ways of thinking. Uh, what what is traditional? Um, yeah, that I feel that too. What is traditional? You know, um, wash away my traditional beliefs of what should be or you know what's proper. You know uh, things like that because how can I say this? Mm -hmm. I don't want to, uh, no disrespect to your culture, you know what I mean? No disrespect to your culture, but you know, something is different in you. And I think you can detect that. Um, and I think it's a nice personal growth and development for you specifically. So what you want to wash away is, um, oh, what do you call it? Like, um, I don't want to say culture, like I can, it's not habits, you know? Traditions, traditions, maybe. Okay. Yeah. Traditions, some traditions, you know, don't apply anymore. You know, it don't apply. I'm not going to lie. Um, again, no disrespect to your culture, your beliefs, uh, but some traditions don't apply. All right. Um, and if that's what you want to address, then throw that up, you know, in your personal prayer and meditation to be washed, you know, to be replenished, you know, even to be washed and, and uh, cleaned, you know, maybe they have been tainted. Some of these traditions, you know, some of these beliefs, you know, within your family, maybe it's tainted, you know, so throw that up in prayer and allow it to be purged, you know. Uh, because this is uh, this moon is purging like a mother lover. Also, um, it's a very spiritually cleansing moon. Um, crystals. This is a great time. Put your crystals out tonight. Okay, I'm going to do the same, and uh, definitely leave them out. Let them get a nice uh, cleansing uh, of all the energy that it's collected. Now, remember, you clean in the sun. Um, I'm sorry, you clean in the moon and you charge in the sun. So if you do put your crystals out uh, to be cleansed, then make sure you uh, also, uh, if you can leave them out, leave them out. If you can't, put them back out, you know, tomorrow so that they can recharge in the sun. Okay. Um, I think this was good, guys. I don't do collectives often. You, it's so heavy on me. I'm not going to lie. Um, but I do enjoy it. I think the message was sound and I hope it helps. Okay. Now, if any event you said, look, green eyes, you don't know me, you don't know my life and you don't know what you're talking about. You know what? I'm okay with that. I still love you. Um, go ahead and check out, uh, your sun sign, your moon, rising but please don't take the energy with you if it's not for you leave it here for the rest of the collective okay everybody thumbs up subscribe make sure you guys are notified of future readings it's free okay and it supports the channel remember we are all perfectly what imperfect 
and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.